Today is a self-care day. I'll be reflecting on things in life as well. Anyways, I want to talk about quitting in life. So I decided to go on and quit medical school. I've been going at it since 2017 and haven't progressed in life. It feels like it's just time. I tried, I tried, I tried my score. It's called the USMLE, United States Medical Licensing Exam. It's your first step to where you are becoming a doctor. You have to get licensed and you have to take these exams and then boom, do everything you need to do. But the exams, the part you have to pass to be licensed in the United States. Somebody could be a doctor in another country and they come over here, they have to take that exam as well to be a licensed doctor in the United States. Some people have been a doctor in China and then they came over here and they took the test, couldn't pass the test, I think they eventually passed, but then they couldn't get other qualifications that they needed to be a doctor in the U.S. So they switched to nursing, became a nurse, became a nurse practitioner, and I think that is what's best for me. I never thought about plan B, C, D, E, F, G. Now I'm thinking about it. Being 32 years old and feel like I'm starting my life over because I'm changing paths, it can be devastating. I'm now a new mother, and I think that has played a role in me making the shift so easily. And because over the years, I've only ever had one person to tell me to quit. Most people say, keep going, tough it out, figure it out. I haven't figured it out. So it's time to make that change. I started doing nursing. That never was to stop medical school. It was more to supplement my studying and my knowledge and to try to be a better doctor and hope that it would help me in a way pass the exam and if it didn't then I would start working make money so that I could have money to continue to work on a stream of mine but now that I have a baby it's like not even just a baby it's more like it's just time to stop sitting here being mediocre and I'm not saying my life is completely mediocre because if we're going to talk about money, I have made $100,000 before in a year. I have had a lifetime where I made 20000 in a month. And it's not about the money, especially with healthcare. I love healthcare, so that's not my situation. It's never about the money. Like, I'm going to do this so I can make money. No. But the whole process that I'm trying to talk to you guys about is not necessarily about money it's about like me myself my mental and who I'm trying to be in this world you know like I want to be happy I want to be successful I want to be a role model help women and all this stuff and so now it's like okay time to let that go so that you can do these things that you want to do and these things that you want to do like for example help women does not sit in me being a doctor I can help women in other ways now the options and the possibilities are where well, we're going to be a nurse. We'll talk about my nursing path um, another video, but we're going to be a nurse. And we have options with that, like a nurse practitioner. And I've been looking to other options of healthcare, like I've just learned about a certified anesthesiologist assistant. And then there's also the military, this and midwifery. Some of this stuff has been on my list, but the path is always doctor, 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 OBGYN, that I never stopped. I have stopped for the military. I got so far with getting it pursued, all I needed to do was sign the paper. I never went and signed the paper. And so now, that's back on the list. With all of that being said, it's like, where do I start this new journey and this new life? And so what I decided, I have to start it at home with me, myself, and I. So that means starting it small. And I feel like starting small with my self-care journey. Not just like, oh, doing it for YouTube or whatever. It's just in general, no matter if I'm recording or not. Like waking up, even if I'm going back to bed, waking up at a certain time, brush my teeth, wash my face, do my shower, get ready for the day, and then get back in bed, even if I'm not going nowhere. And I feel like that's the first step because I'm taking care of me. And I have to include things like working out and my relationship with God and my relationship with others. Working on having better relationships with the people in my life who got my back. And I feel like I don't have bad relationships, but I feel like they could be better because if all these people are pouring into me and I'm just being mean or rude or not the best to them, then eventually they may burn out or they may leave me the heck alone. I feel like that is the first step. 
getting me together, getting my health together, finding someone to talk to, or speaking to God more. Once I start there, then I'll be able to present myself better or feel better when I'm out in the world and when it's time to make decisions, I am better overall, healthy, mentally, everything. And my advice to others who may be in the same situation, just say you may have friends who are doing better or, or know somebody or even watch social media and see that some people are out there doing their thing. That is great for them. That is really great for them, okay? Be happy for them. Do not be envious of them. But find time to sit back and do what you need to do to get yourself to where you want to be. Don't compare yourself to no one. Just do whatever it is that you need to do. So just say, you're not working. You're not in the career you want to be in. You can't pass this class or pass this exam. Or you've been applying. You got your degree. Or you got this certification. You've been applying for jobs. And you won't get hired. It may be time to step back. Look within yourself and come up with a new plan and a new strategy because it is said something like if you keep doing the same thing over and over again expecting different results, then that's like you're insane. So now it's time to change things up and not beat yourself up or be down on yourself either. I never want to give up. That's a personal thing. I'll try this until I'm 100 years old, be a doctor at 100 because that's my dream. I always felt like... I can't give up. I can't do nothing different. I can't take another route. I can't try the way that other people suggest I try it because this is the way I got to go and I have to succeed. And this is the way to succeed instead of taking a break, trying to, you know, get my life together, bring up my sense financially, specifically is what I'm talking about, that I can be better for myself, better for my son, which that's a new part, but just living a easier life instead of struggling that makes a difference like if you're not financially at a okay level then trying to reach your goals and do everything you need to do it's going to be harder and stressful because you know you can't do everything you need to do like just say you need to take a class you can't take that class because you ain't got the money to take that class that's what i'm doing now and that's my advice to you too take a step back Try things differently. It may even be take a break from this goal, do this, and come back around at a different angle or something like that. And the break don't have to be long because sometimes you take a break and you don't get back to it. All right. So let's get to this self-care journey. 